Hello, welcome to Tai Chi Exercises with Rosalind. Today we're going to do a lovely exercise called Chinese Plates in the Seated Position. And I'm ready with my bowl of wonton soup and Chinese plates. We've already done this in the standing position. The difference in sitting is that the pelvis is fixed, so there is a lot less movement of the center. And that's what we've been working at for this season. The center moves in Tai Chi, one of the very important principles. And that's the point, I'll just put my dot here, about one and a half inches below the belly button and one and a half inches inside. It's the center of gravity of the human body, it's a hypothetical point. And in Tai Chi they call it the Dantian. So I'm going to start with a variation and then we're going to work up to do the Chinese plates. Because some people, Chinese plates involves taking your hand over your head and some people might find this difficult. So we'll start in sitting with the palm up and remember as well that Tai Chi isn't competitive so just do what you're happy with and if you can't do the movement then just do perhaps a smaller movement or if you can't do it at all just leave it and try one of my other exercises. So as always we're going to sit in the best possible posture, the crown, that point where the crown of the hair grows out from, always suspended. Nice long line at the front, make sure you've got a good stable chair, feet shoulder width apart if you can, soles of the feet flat on the floor, knees aligned over your feet and relax down and feel comfortable. And once you've learnt the choreography of the exercise, calm your mind down, that nice sensation when you're about to go to sleep. So for the variation, at this one, we're just going to turn slightly, I say difficult with the pelvis being fixed, and allow the left hand, so we're turning to the left, to go behind the body and around and then the palm rotates up again. So we try that again, hand turning slightly to the left, hand goes behind the body and turns back around. And on the other side, turning slightly to the right, hands turn behind and back around. And turning again to the right and back around. And you can see that my center isn't moving as very much at all and you can compare that with the one in standing. So you can do these alternate. First the left and then the right which is what we do when we do the full Chinese plates. Left and then right and then another variation is simply to do both hands together. And I've seen this move called Farmer Grinds the Corn. It's a thing about Tai Chi you have, and Qigong, you have often exercises very similar, or they may be the same exercise, and people have called them um, different names. So it's kind of a bit like the move of Chinese plates, we'll, which we'll do shortly. You're breathing in as the body lifts up and out as the hands come around, remembering to breathe at your own rate. In and out. So the body lifts at this point as the hands draw in and the body sinks out. Farmer grinds the coin. And again, if you're not able just to even, just to moving the wrists, just in Tai Chi, just do what you're happy with and feel into the body, go back to the full movement and enjoy the sensation of the moving body. One more.
Lovely. Now in Chinese plates, I guess I can use the plates again to show you. So, and you don't need plates, this is just again for a bit of fun. So we're imagining they're bowls of one tongue soup and as we turn to the left the hand comes and this time it spirals up, oh don't drop the soup, over the head and back down. And if I turn to the right, same thing, spirals up and overhead. And again, you can see there's not as much movement of the central point. I'll put that down and then we can do the exercise together. Turning around. Breathing in to coming up and out to down. A couple more. And we'll bring it to a close. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed doing Chinese plates. If you like the video, please press the like button, the thumbs up button. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below. Look below for details of my website and the courses that I teach to allied health professionals across the UK. Please subscribe to my channel to see more of these videos. That's the big red button. And I hope to see you again very soon. Happy Tai Chi!